Rick Ross has been busy enjoying the warm weather at his Atlanta mansion recently, whether he's lounging by the pool mowing his 200 acre lawn or showing off his luxury car collection. I really don't think the rappers had much trouble being holed up at home for quarantine either considering he owns the largest mansion in the state of Georgia. He bought this monster palace back in 2014 and prior to that lived in Florida where he still spends a lot of time. We'll be taking a look at Rick's mansions and we even found the listings. William Leonard Roberts II, aka Rick Ross, is a rapper, songwriter, entrepreneur, and record executive. After releasing the track Hustlin', he was the subject of a bidding war between Diddy and Irv Gotti's labels before going on to sign a multi-million dollar deal with Jay-Z and Def Jam. These days, although he's worked with the best of the best, Rick went on to start his own record label, Maybach Music Group, back in 2009, which he released plenty of albums with. He was also the first artist signed to Diddy's management company, Ciroc Entertainment, and even more recently, he's an author after releasing his memoir titled Hurricanes. All things considered, Ricky Rose is one of the wealthiest rappers in the game with an estimated net worth of $40 million or more. It's no wonder he afforded himself a mansion almost as big as the White House. Hey guys, it's Karen, today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be taking a look at where the legend Rick Ross calls home in Georgia, which is reportedly the biggest single family home in the whole state, as well as his previous mansion in Florida. Although he sold his main Fort Lauderdale house, he still spends a ton of time there. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed or that bell to be notified when we post you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and likes of Jay-Z and Lil Wayne and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tours next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Before we get into Rick Ross's insane Georgia estate, let's look at the Fort Lauderdale mansion he lived in just before. He sold the home in 2016 and it's also reported his mother was living there at some point. Although the rapper originally listed the Florida house as high as 9.25 million back in 2014, it ended up selling for just over 6 million, still a million dollars more than he purchased it for. Rick still spends a ton of time in Florida and I'm not surprised because it's where he lived most of his life. He apparently grew up in the Carroll City area of Miami and other reports claim that even before this home, he had a spot in the Long Lake Ranches community of Davie, Florida, which he got in 2008 for 1.25 million. Anyways, the mansion Rick sold in 2016 was located on a canal in Seven Isles, and according to the listing, was a three-story Mediterranean-inspired villa estate. It sat on almost half an acre of land, all of which was kept secure by big iron gates, and also offered 150 feet of waterfront, a must-have in sunny Florida. Inside his previous mansion, there was over 10,000 square feet of living space with eight bedrooms, 11 full baths and two half baths. The home was elegant and combined the best of indoor and outdoor living. Walking in Rick's Florida home, there was a dramatic entryway, of course leading to the main open plan living spaces. The highlight here was definitely the two story great room with 20 foot ceilings and balconies from the upper level looking down on the space. Not to mention there was a two story fireplace and floor to ceiling windows on one end of the room. There was a kitchen with marble countertops and access to the outside area as well as more family and dining rooms to gather in. Features in Rick's mansion included a home movie theater, which looked a bit dated from the listing pictures on the all red interior, an arcade room, and a home gym with flat screen TV and mirrored walls for selfies or perhaps motivation. There's also a full bar, elevator to move from floor to floor, and an in-home sauna. Rick's master suite offered shiny marble flooring and an expansive layout with sitting area, fireplace, and attached private terrace. The attached bath came with a large center tub, dual vanities, glass enclosed shower, and pillars to make everything feel royal. Moving outside his previous mansion, there was a huge backyard entertaining area with outdoor kitchen and dining, heated pool with built-in bar and spa, as well as a gazebo.
Not to mention all of that waterfront with easy access to the ocean and even a private concrete dock built for a true mega yacht. Realtor.com assumes that these days Rick's Florida home is worth about 5.9 million, so if that's true, he sold the place at the right time, making almost a million more on the sale. After unloading his 10,000 square foot plus home in Fort Lauderdale, Rick made quite the upgrade buying this current mega mansion in Fayetteville, Georgia. And it's not just any house. This place used to be owned by the heavyweight boxing champ Evander Holyfield, and it even has a name, Villa Vittoriosa, meaning the victory. Apparently, the home used European influence from its native Malta in the design with contemporary timeless architecture. The rapper purchased the home in 2014 for 5.8 million after it had fallen into foreclosure while Mr. Holyfield owned it, so it was really quite the steal. Rick resides in Fayetteville, a city in Georgia which is only about 20 miles or so from downtown Atlanta. And like I mentioned, his mansion is the biggest single family residence in all of Georgia, only 1,000 square feet less than the White House. It covers a whopping 235 acre lot and inside spans 54,000 square feet with a total of 109 rooms. The Maybach Music founder hosted NBA star Nate Robinson at his mansion and said about the stately home, It took me two to three days to walk through the whole house, just absorbing it. Which doesn't surprise me. Out of the 109 rooms in Rick's house, 12 of them are bedrooms and 21 are bathrooms, which I wonder how do you even use that many? His mega mansion is full of palatial formal and informal spaces like a large ballroom, a great room with floor to ceiling windows and chandelier, and of course additional living and family rooms. The front driveway has a center fountain with landscaping and embellished with an R for his initials so it's the first thing you see. Walking in, there's a stadium sized entry with dual winding staircases, marble flooring, a rounded ceiling and white columns all over. In fact, listing photos show that most of the rooms were gold accented with columns and floor to ceiling curtains, but Rick has likely updated the mansion quite a bit over the last few years. The formal dining room in Rick's mega mansion has the ability to seat approximately 100 guests and has been featured on shows like Drop Dead Diva. His mansion offers over the top features like a tiered movie theater that seats a total of 135 people comfortably and an in-house bowling alley. There's also a boxing gym, recording studio and full size indoor swimming pool. Of course, Rick had to choose from the 12 luxury bedrooms here which he would stay in and his master suite is nothing short of impressive, offering a ton of space and a walk-in closet and dressing room. The master bath is spa style and even the jacuzzi tub has large pillars surrounding it. Outside on the grounds of Rick's mega estate, there's a 4,000 square foot detached guest house and a 7 stall barn. Not to mention, it's as close to a sportsman's paradise as you can get, with features like a handball court, basketball court, tennis court, and even a softball field complete with lights and a scoreboard. I mean, what else are you going to do with over 200 acres of land? If that's not enough, Rick has one of the largest private pools in all of the United States on his property. His swimming pool sits at over 350,000 gallons. According to Ross, his swimming pool is so big he was offered good money to allow horses to train in it, saying, I hold the world's greatest pool parties in the summer. I was offered six figures by horse trainers to allow race horses train in the pool. Rick also previously invited in movie cameras on other occasions into his mega mansion, like when they were filming the movie Superfly. All features considered, Rick Ross has quite the crazy mansion. I haven't seen as many as big as that. But opulence like this does come at a cost and he definitely does have to cut up some sizable checks. The monthly electricity bill for the mansion is estimated at 17 k while the cost of the year-round upkeep is said to be in the neighborhood of $1 million. Of course, Rick also has a large garage and sprawling driveway to house his crazy luxury car collection. We can even see from his Instagram it seems the man is always getting a new set of wheels to show off. The man behind the success of rappers like Meek Mill also revealed that he names all his cars, one of his favorite being a Rolls Royce christened Rihanna. This is Rihanna right here. I would say my favorite. That's your favorite? Yeah, that's that's my race. That's the first Rolls Royce they made with the stars in the top. And I remember when I first got it, I just rolled around listening to Umbrella. Once you get inside this and sit under the stars, you need an umbrella. You know what I'm saying? And re I hold your umbrella, baby. Besides that new Maybach military Hummer he just got delivered, he owns everything from a Ford monster truck to a Maybach 5.7 worth over 400k. Some of Rick's cars include a Lamborghini Murcielago, a Ferrari 458 Italia, a few Mercedes Benzes, a Rolls Royce Phantom drop head coupe, several classic cars, and much more. So now we've taken a look at where rapper Rick Ross calls home, and I gotta say it's one of the craziest rapper mansions I think I've seen. Like the home was expensive at almost. 
almost six million dollars, but you think the biggest home in Georgia would be even pricier than that. I guess that's one of the perks with foreclosure. His current home has everything from a bowling alley to an entire baseball field and even one of the biggest home swimming pools in the country. What was your favorite feature of Rick's mega mansion? The home is personally too big for me. I think I'd lose my dogs in there with 109 rooms, but if I had to choose, I love the classic features best like the huge ballroom and the great room because they look like something from a palace. Anyways, after looking at Rick Ross's mansions like his current 54,000 square foot estate and his previous Florida home, which one did you like best? Be sure to let me know in those comments down below as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat and I'll see you all next time. Bye!